there's no such thing as free trade. You know, I got news for you. Uh, everybody manipulates their currency and their, and their economy to try to balance the playing field in their best interest. What we do um, as a leadership team at Leader Corporation is very much like James and David, where our production in China is for China. That's the best way. To, uh, that's the best way to do it. However, there is always going to be an aspect in a global, like, uh, a global industry like like the automotives where you're going to have cross-border issues. So this whole concept of free trade is a great concept, it's a great philosophy. However, no one's really following it because no one's, there's barriers, there's unseen barriers to trade and entry. For instance, uh, Japan is largely a closed market. You can't really import to it as automakers, uh, but they're not really viewed as, as they're viewed as being free trade. So um, we, leadership of any major corporation um, needs to take into consideration the political environments we're in, for instance. While right now, a lot of the attention is on the United States and the policies of our new administration. Four months ago or five months ago, it was on the vote to exit the European Union and all the calls for protectionism there. I think we need to be coming grips with is um, there's a lot of angry folks that are out there, whether it's March on Wall Street, or March on the White House, or March for this, or March for that. Um, we have to be conscious of the political uh, and global environment that we operate in. Uh, Venezuela used to be a great place to do business, not so much anymore, right? And these types of ebbs and flows are going to continue in our business. We try to anticipate them, stay in front of it, and then make sound decisions.